Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. In this video we'll be doing a full soft glam makeup look and we're going to just start this makeup look out that's going to be very short, sweet and to the point <laughs> on a beautiful look that I wore to go to a party a few weeks ago here in Holland. I am starting out with my eyebrows that have been already done and using this loose powder to actually just go over the concealer that I brought down from my eyebrows onto my eyelids just to make sure that it's all blended out and actually sits well. And then I'm going to be using this Carnival XL Pro Palette that I have. It has amazing colors inside of it. And using this brown color just inside of my crease area to make sure that I have like a beautiful, nice transitioning kind of color because you don't want the color to just look a bit too harsh. And the look that I'm doing just is kind of like a basic, just fast. I think I used only three eyeshadows just to create this whole overall look. And then I'm just taking here a bigger brush and blending out those harsh lines and going in and taking this light pink and kind of purple color and layering them on top of each other. Um, I first used the light glitter color and then the purple one on top of it and you'll just see me here actually blending them and putting them together and showing you how I get this done and making sure of course just to build it as well. That's the key to when you're actually going to put on foundation, or I should say eyeshadow. You need to build it as a well actually also with foundation. You need to build it so that it actually can sit well and give it a bit more pigmentation. And if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, click on the bell, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the makeup look. I really loved how this came out. I think it looks so beautiful and it wasn't too much. It still was kind of a bit like a like a look in the eye mixed with like just being just right you'll you'll see it and if you haven't already you probably saw it in the beginning of the of this video where I made the entry or that like intro I should say um, and where I just filmed what the look looked like and give you a bit of a sneak peek so here you can see I'm just building the color and making sure that it all sits well and then again, going back into the crease area and blending that out. At this point, I also went back in and took like a bit of a darker brown just to make sure that that blended in really well. And then again, went over with that purple color. Here I'm using this primer on my face, just putting that all over because at this point I almost forgot that I didn't prime my face, but it's key, especially when you're going out, out into town to dance the night away because, you know, you just don't want to have that move all over but this foundation had me well it's one of my favorites and it actually is a quite full coverage concealer not a concealer foundation um, from Estee Lauder it's amazing a few years ago I made a review on it but I think it's time I update actually actually my review of this because uh, it still is one of my favorites and I'm just putting this all over, even in my like darker spots and stuff. I have one little spot on my neck that I'm just covering up, or I covered up already. And then using this brush to just blend it and put it into the skin, making sure that it's actually going in and not sitting on my skin and I'm not moving it around by brushing it around, really pushing it into my skin so it is going to do its job <laughs> and then I'm going to take here the concealer my favorite new concealer I'll leave a pop-up of a review that I've done on this recently and I'm just adding this into some spots under my eye to conceal and highlight I love using concealer and highlighters around these areas just to make sure that they sit well and especially on my smile lines because I smile a lot so it actually you know gives me a bit of a wrinkle <laughs> and a little funny face and now what I'm going to do is just put that again into the skin and I'm blending it in and out as you can see the motion that I'm doing with the brush I am making sure that I'm not going to go ahead and you know swipe it away but really put it into my skin and into my under eye area and now I'm going to be going in with my loose powder that I have here and putting that and setting that under eye area what I like to do is to use a wet sponge because I feel like the wet sponge allows that just to melt into my skin a bit more. And you can see here on like my mouth area, just how like it vanishes real fast. So I do that and then now I'm going to go ahead and contour my face, making sure just to shape it, contour my nose area and 
forehead and cheeks part and I just like doing this just to make sure that my face is a bit more tight <laughs> and what I have to do then after is blending that out because you can see it's a really darker color than my skin tone so it's a lot of blending 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 and then I always like to use this brush to go over everything I do because that brush just makes sure that everything blends even more into my skin and here what I'm doing is just reverse contouring my face and using that loose powder just to shape under the dark contour that I used on top and on top of that contour color what I like to do is to put blush just to make it give it a bit of a dimension I really like that look of blush on top of the contour area and after I do this I'm going to go in and highlight but I think before I highlighted on this day I went in with my favorite favorite lashes these lashes are my obsession at the moment they are amazing they're from Primark actually super affordable well not really super affordable I feel for Primark lashes however they are one of my favorite because they give you really that extra glam look it's a soft glam we're doing however the lashes are a full glam <laughs> Okay, that was just a quick break to show you what I do while I'm doing my makeup. <laughs> I love dancing and putting on music really hard. That's why I have to do this voiceover. But anyway, here is when I'm taking my highlighter and it's also one of my favorite things to do. I put it on top of the blush. I put it on my lip area on top of that cupid's bowl just to, you know, make the lipstick pop a bit more on the bridge of my nose. And I don't know, but sometimes I do actually put it above or below my um, eyebrow, my eyebrows. Yeah, I just put it below my eyebrows. And now I'm going to go ahead and blend that out by my lip area. I'm using my ultimate favorite lip combo at the moment. I'm using this lip pencil from Kiko in 321. It's the best brown. If you use Chestnut from MAC, this is super comparable to Chestnut from MAC. It is so good and affordable. And then I'm using this color here, and this color here is what makes my combination just pop. I love this lip combination, oh my god. So it's this number from, I think it's called Sweet Affairs, uh, from Kiko as well. And then on top of that, I'm using that Catrice combo with uh, the second one that I used as well. Both of them together make it look so good, oh my gosh. like. It's amazing. It's like the perfect nude color for my dark skin girl. So if you're a dark skin girl, you have a Kiko near you, go out and get this combo and give it a try. It can be a bit much at the first time when you try it out. However, that nude color just needs you to put that brown and you will be good to go. And here I'm just like going over everything and making sure I have everything like popping as much as I want it to. And then I'm putting a lot of that rose water all over my face to blend everything out. And this is the final look. Look at that. She's ready to go party. Yeah, the eye color came out beautiful. I love it. And that's the other side. Ooh, look at her. This is the dress I wore that day. I actually bought this last year to wear on St. Martin, but I didn't. And then these are the skin care products I'm using because you know, we need some glitter, we want to shine. <laughs> And again, another self-hype session, <laughs> and I'm going to put in my earrings because I was running a bit late um, because I wanted to film this and look good. However, this is a complete look. The earrings are quite old. They are from H&M. I am so late. Like, this is my makeup. I love how it came out. It came out really pretty, but now we go to Batada. And here is me in the party, just dancing, having a good time. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked, go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.